Jacqueline is our uh, real on Hezekiah Switch. That is the priest Jacqueline is always bringing up on a level of understanding and knowledge. Give me all uh, Psalm 79 and give me Isaiah 24 and uh, 10. And just like the brother said, just like the priest said, um, America's just about done, okay? America's just about over with. Just about over with, just about done. Okay, but the most high, before this thing go down and before this happen, the most high is going to send a series of plagues on this earth. Okay, but the most high is commanding, okay, that the nation of Israel get themselves together, okay, and come out of the ways of America before he burn this place to a damn crisp, man. Okay, it's no time to play games no more. The so-called white man is at his end. Okay, he's at his end. It's just about over with the, the days of bocce ball. Okay, in the days of pickleball, it's just about over it, man. Okay, you so-called Europeans have run this place in not only lawlessness, immorality, okay, but you've ran this place in evil and wickedness. That's what you thrive off of. Okay, that's what you Europeans have to understand. The things that you stand for is class A damn wickedness, man. Okay, your daddy is Satan. All right. Once you realize your damn daddy is Satan, you'll stop complaining and stop marching and start voting and doing the same damn rituals and every damn thing else that it took for the elites to get this place. You should talk to be as mad as hell, okay, because you're not shared the same riches and you're not afforded the same things, okay, that the other nations have also. Because your people are so damn arrogant, so damn wicked, okay, it tells you in the Bible that the pride of their heart had deceived thee. Okay, you're going against it, you're keeping your own people, okay, in the poor house. That's what the devil's job is to do, deceive all nations, okay? One of the people that he's deceived, okay, is the so-called Negroes, Wesley, and Puerto Ricans. Call and read it, King. Psalm 7, 9. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Oh, please. <laughs> By all means, okay? Let the wickedness of this place come to an end. What I don't understand is how the hell you so-called black men and black women, okay, you got a profound love for this damn place, man. Okay, anything possible that goes on that these Europeans set out for you, okay, you just love and you accept, okay? You conform yourselves, okay, to the wickedness of this damn place called America. Read it again, gang. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to us. That's exactly what we wish for, okay, and we're hoping for. And our day is coming. Our day is coming quick, okay? The most I said, let the wickedness of this place come to an end, but establish the just. I establish the just, okay? It's time. The most I says, when the just, okay, and we're waiting on, everybody's waiting on the manifestation, okay, of the saints. Right. The whole world is waiting for you so-called black men and black women, okay, to get yourselves in order so he can destroy this damn place. Right. The faster you wake up, that's the faster we're going to get the hell up out of here, man. Wow. The hell you so-called black men and black women, you're going to wake up to that fact, man. Let the damn white man come up in here and the damn Chinese people come here and tell you what to do in your own damn country. A country they didn't even build. A country that they're so hell-bent, okay, over keeping you in slavery. The damn white man, according to the Bible, the devil needs to Satan's work, man. When the hell you so-called black men and black women going to wake up and find it out? The damn whole White House structure, the whole Washington, D.C. structure is built on Satanism. The symbols, the plagues, and the things that are in this place, it's built on Satanism, man. And you so-called black people in America, you going to find out. You're going to find out sooner than later. Come on, King. For the righteous God trieth the hearts and reign. That's right. The most I say, give me Colossians 126 and read what you got, King. Come on with it. Isaiah 28. Isaiah 28. Woe to the crown of pride, to the drunkards of Ephraim. Yeah, the most I said this. Okay, he said, Woe, Psalm 7 and start at 9. The most I said, Woe, okay, for the pride. Okay, the so called Europeans that's out here in America, they're powerful as hell, man. We've been trying to show that to you for years, man. We've been trying to tell you that this place is, is slowly coming to an end. And in the book of James, the second chapter, the 21st verse, I'm going to let you get yourself together. Okay, in the second, and uh, 2 and 21, the Most High says everybody had a time, okay, to rule this place. Right. The hell you damn cave people walking around here looking like a bunch of damn sips. All of you look like McGillah Gorilla, all of you. That's right. All of you look like damn McGillah Gorilla. All of you look like the damn Planet of the Apes, okay? Yeah. You got the nerve to walk around here in America like you so damn proud that you look better than any damn body and teaching a bunch of damn lies. Okay, George Washington and Thomas Jefferson was the biggest damn pedophiles on this damn earth. Bring it on! Okay, Thomas Jefferson had laid down and raped more black women, okay, as you can count. George Washington laid down and raped more poor than Spanish people than you can damn count. The nerve that I'm talking about, the diddler, be diddly, okay? George Washington needs to get pressed, and that needs to be taught in school as well, too. This country was founded on lies, deception, and evil, man. That's how this country was founded, 
Okay? And you other nations that's coming up in here, you got a big surprise also as well, too. You're fornicating with the damn devil. Your kids is learning, okay, an evil way of living up under the hands of the damn devil. We didn't kick on, King. We didn't and call it. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 26. Even the mystery which has been hid from ages. The Most High said this. It's a mystery, okay, that's been hid from ages. This is what the so-called Europeans, okay, have spent millions of dollars on keeping from the black people. Okay, what we're doing today, gather ourselves together in these last days, okay? That's something that they thought would never happen, okay, during the time of slavery. They thought the lies that they had taught on the black people, okay, the Puerto Ricans and the West Indians, they thought this would not, this day right here would never come to pass. That we're coming back together for the one nation, okay, I found the book that belongs to us. This book don't rightfully belong, okay, to you damn Europeans. You took this book and you lied on it, okay, you used it to your advantage. Okay, to gain access to the whole world and Christianity to poison the minds of every damn body. Okay, but this is a group of black men that you ain't, you ain't gonna fool today. Okay, this is one group of black men that you ain't gonna fool today because the Heavenly Father has bestowed a spirit on us of righteousness that we come out here we teach and that we know better. Okay, we ain't look, you're not looking at the average Negroes, okay, and Puerto Ricans and West Indians and Haitians that's out here today. Okay, the most I said in these last days, there will be prophets on every corner teaching his word, waking our people the hell up. The damn white man, this is the day that he feared. Okay, this is the day that the white man feared. Okay, that we will never come back to the knowledge, okay, of our understanding of who the hell we are. Spent billions of dollars hiding this truth for us. We need to get from the top, King. Even the mystery, as I said, even the mystery. The so-called black man is the Jew of the earth. Christ is a black man, okay? King Solomon, the white man is not a Jew. That's one of the mysteries and one of the biggest misconceptions on this earth, that the damn white man is a Jew. 740 AD, he converted to Judaism, okay? When he read your history, okay, went around the earth and perpetrated to be you. Right. That's one of the biggest damn misconceptions and lies, okay? That's how the so-called Europeans get down any damn way. They always want to portray themselves as somebody that they're not. Be who the hell you are, and that's the damn devil. You will get a damn Academy Award every damn year. That's the reason why they got the Academy Awards out here. Okay? Don't get mad because Denzel Washington don't win it every damn year. Okay, Wesley Sachs, they giving it to the right damn person, Tom Hanks. They giving it to the right person, Mel Gibson. That's his job to deceive everybody. Okay, but the Negroes, West End, the Puerto Ricans, okay, Haitians, Dominicans, okay, the people that are listening on the side are the true ethnic biblical Jews that the Bible speaks of. And this is one of the biggest kept secrets on this earth. You know, peers, you got to pay for your lives, man. Okay, this is one of the things that you got to pay for. The so called black man and black woman, okay, Lord, the Puerto Ricans, you better wake up out of that damn sleep that you in. You better wake the hell up out of that damn American dream and come back to who the hell you are. You're the greatest people on this earth, and the Bible testifies to it. You ready, King? Call it a read. This is Psalm 79. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Yeah, the Most High said this, okay? He said, please, okay, let the wickedness come to an end, okay? Because this place has far gone, okay, to eligibility, okay, of what? Of righteousness. Daniel 2, 21, after you, just hold that. Of eligibility of righteousness, okay? Don't you know all nations have had a chance to rule this earth? Your vote don't damn count. Don't you know Camilla Harris, okay, and Donald Trump is like voting for two damn snakes. One is a copperhead and one is a damn moccasin. They both gonna bite you right in your ass, okay, and kill you at the same damn time, okay? It's, like, it's over with. America, the nuclear weapons that they have, don't you know that they're gonna use those? Just like the brother said, they have never made a weapon that they have never used. All of a sudden now, you don't hear nothing about disarming weapons no more. Isn't that crazy? About 10 or 15 years ago, they used to get inside the UN and they used to talk about disarming weapons. You ever notice you don't hear about that no more? Because the Most High said in these last days, those weapons are going to be used for the downfall of you so-called Europeans. You dug a pit for your own damn self, you damn fools. Okay? You sown deception, okay, rape, rob, and murder on this earth, and now all of a sudden, okay, you want to call for earth bed. Now all of a sudden, you want forgiveness. Okay, the most I say, you have dug a pit. Okay, and you're gonna fall right into it. Come on, King. Look at James chapter 2, verse 21. Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? That's right. It's all about sacrifice. Come on. See, it's 
thou hast faith wrought his works, right. and by works was faith made perfect. That's right, and we got faith, okay? We know this thing is going to go down, okay? As sure as you can look up in the sky and you can see the sun, okay? You so-called Europeans, Darius 221, you Europeans are at your end. Okay? You Moabs, you Chinese people, you at the end on yourself. Right. You gotta stop selling that damn green chicken in the damn Chinese restaurants to our damn people. Okay? A bunch of green, a bunch of green damn chicken, Daniel 221. A bunch of green chicken, okay, with the damn feathers on it. We sick of you. Nobody makes fried chicken better than the damn black people. Okay? You go around selling that damn dog food in the damn Chinese restaurants, okay, with damn hair. We're sick of it. Okay, and the most I said in these last days, they're going to be slaves as well, too. Daniel 2 21. Come on, King. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 2, verse 21. And he changes the times and the seasons. The most I said, he changed the times, okay, in the seasons, winter, summer, spring. Okay, we're coming up on fall. The most I said, he's the one that changed the times and the season. He removed King. The most I said, the what? He removed King. What's Donald Trump? He removed King. What's Bush? He removed King. The most I said, he's the one that removed the kings of the earth. When it's time for the be removed. Your vote don't count. You Negroes West in the Puerto Ricans, don't you know they already know who's gonna be the president? You Negroes can fall for their old banana in the tailpipe all you damn want to. And Kamala Harris, I stand by you, Kamala. Okay? The Japanese said if Kamala if she become president, she said they're gonna take this country over in a damn week, man. Okay? Because why? Because this place has become weak. Okay, and it testifies that in the Bible, okay, in the last days and in the book of Daniels about the mingled clay. Come on. And set it up king. The most I said, he's the one that set it up kings. He's the one that removed kings, and he's the one that set it up kings. When you read the book of Revelation, it tells you that America is of the eighth, okay, it's of the seventh, okay, and it is of the eighth, okay? It's the British Empire, it's the what? It's the Romans, it's the Greeks, okay? The so-called white man is walking around here in the earth, they're the children of the Greeks. That's the reason why everything is so similar, okay, to but the Greek Empire. Everything is similar. That's not by coincidence, man. Okay? When you read the book of Revelation, get it, 11 and 8, it tells you that this is Egypt all over again. Okay? Because why? Because the children of Israel is all over here in slavery. And we're getting the hell up out of here. Okay? We're getting the hell up out of here. The so-called Europeans, they know that they're at the end. Come on. He giveth wisdom unto the wise. Yeah, that's right. The most I said he gave wisdom onto the rocks. Yeah, we look like a bunch of babbling brothers, okay, on the corner. We ain't got nothing else to do, okay, that we're complaining all the damn time. The most I said wisdom and knowledge make it the wise man mad. Right. Okay, if you so-called blacks and Puerto Ricans, if you ain't mad at the damn condition that you're in, okay, you're not wise. Okay, call and read it, King. This is Revelations 11 and 8. Bring it up. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street. The most I said our dead bodies shall lie in the street. Henderson, North Carolina, okay, just last week, a black man got lynched. Our bodies lying in the street, okay, every day. This so-called European man, these old damn colonists, okay, they take the liberty, okay, at will and hang you, kill you, okay, and lynch you, put poison in your damn food, teach your kids damn lies, man, okay? These schools should be boycotted, okay? You so-called black men and black women, you're supposed to be boycotting every damn school out here, okay, in the United States. What the hell are you gonna let them teach your kids that George Washington, he's the founding forefather, okay, of this damn country, when the North American Indians was here hundreds of years before George Washington? That's right. Okay, he's a liar, he's a deceptor, okay, and he's a damn rapist. That's all he is. And you so called Europeans, okay, you got that same damn spirit, man. You got that same spirit, okay, as your forefather. Come on, King. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of Osa. I said our dead bodies are lying in the street. Come on. Of the great city. Of this great city called America. Every damn day feeding you damn poison, putting chemicals in your damn food. That's the reason why you can't think. Your kids is confused. A man thinking he's a damn woman. You can't reproduce kids, okay? That's confusion. That's a damn demon, okay? When a man talks about he's a woman trapped in a damn man's body, okay? You can't repopulate the earth. All life form would cease as we know it if we left it up to the LGBT community. Right. And you black people, you Puerto Ricans, you scared to talk up to the damn white man, okay, because why? Okay, because the Romans are ruling, okay? You scared to tell your kids, okay, that it's wrong, okay, for you to talk about being a damn man trapped in a damn woman's body, or vice versa as well, too, all right? The most I say this place got to come to an end. Come on. Which is spiritually called Sodom. The most I say this place, bingo. 
the most I said this place is spiritually called Sodom, okay? And everybody know that Sodom and Gomorrah had to go, okay, for the acts, okay, the treachery acts, the sexual, the unnatural sexual acts, okay, that Sodom and Gomorrah displayed. Okay, how the hell in 2024, okay, you so-called black men and black women are going to allow, okay, and be comfortable, okay, with your kids talking about it's okay to be a homosexual, okay, or your daughter's coming home talking about mommy, I'm confused, I want to be a damn lesbian. You tell your daughters and you tell your sons that it's wrong to think that way. You're supposed to get married to a man and repopulate the earth and have children. That's right. The hell, you gonna be confused like the damn white man and let him decide, okay, your fate for you, man. You gonna go, you gonna go right in the hell, right along with the damn devil. All right, come on. Where also our Lord was crucified. Mosai said also where our Lord was crucified. Nobody believes in Hamashiach anymore. Everybody doing their own damn thing. That's why the most I said, our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, okay? You rather listen to some damn pastor called Gino Jennings, okay, go around and damn lie to you with every damn, all your damn enemies sitting right beside you. Even a damn gazelle knows to stay the hell away from a damn lion. What the hell is wrong with you, black people? I don't understand it. The white man has showed you more damn hate. Okay, and more damn treachery, okay, all your damn life. And you always saying, well, that was the past. <laughs> they just hung a brother in Henderson, North Carolina. They're still hanging you every damn day. So how the hell is that the damn past? Still lying to your damn kids, okay, teaching your kids, okay, about Thomas Jefferson and George Washington. You black people better wake up and you better wake up fast because Christ is coming back. And he's not looking like a damn European like he was taught in the damn church. According to the Bible, Christ was a black man. Moses was a black man. King David was a black man. All the prophets in the Bible were men of color. This is one of the biggest secrets they've been trying to hide from you for years. Because why? Because it builds self-esteem. Okay? The white man knows if you get a hold of this book, okay, and you read it correctly, it builds self-esteem. You so-called Negroes, you hate the truth, and you hate us just like you hated Christ. Okay? But that's okay. You hate us just like you hated Christ. Just like you had them crucified. A lot of you black people would rather go around the damn corner, around the damn corner, around the damn block, okay, just to avoid the truth. That's okay. They did the same thing to Christ, okay? Because uh, our day is coming. Call in the reader, King. Come on. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. What's I said, what? My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Most I said you destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Okay? What the hell are you going to teach your kids in these last days is okay for a man to lay with another damn man? Okay? How are you going to teach your kids wrong, okay, when the Bible teaches you right? Okay? And you black women, you better wake up. Okay? You better wake up fast because you're not going nowhere without the Puerto Rican man. You ain't going nowhere without the black man. Okay, the days in your liberty is just about over with. You gonna put on some decent damn clothes and have some respect for yourself. Okay, the days you walking around, okay, with short dresses on and tight damn shirts, okay, showing your cleavage and showing your damn thighs, okay, to every damn body like you in a damn chicken spot somewhere, okay, showing your circus like a damn showcase, okay, it's just about to end. Okay, it's just about to be over. Come on, read it again. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Most I said is people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Okay? The hell what the damn Europeans have to say. Okay? If we had it their way, okay, everything would cease. Okay? Everything would cease, okay, off of the earth. Okay? Because that's Satan's job. To have you black men in the hood gang banging against each other, wearing the pants off the damn behind, man. Okay? Being uneducated, shooting up one another in the damn hood, man. What good is that ever came? Okay? A black man in the damn hood wearing a certain damn color. You killing damn one another, man. Okay? When a damn white man, your enemy is walking amongst you every day, but you don't turn, you turn a blank eye on him. You gang bang on each other every damn day, but the damn enemy is in your neighborhood every damn day, and you turn a blank eye on him. That's called white supremacy at his damn best, man. And the so-called white man has done a hell of a damn job, okay, in white supremacy and brainwashing our people to love him when he hates your damn guts, man. This man who went around the damn earth and portrayed himself as everybody great except for himself as being a damn devil. America is falling, okay, and it's falling quick, okay? You Europeans, you know it. You know you at your end, okay? Live it up. Days of bocce ball, okay, what's that other thing again? The days of cornhole, okay, it's just about over with. Okay, the days of cricket, that's right. You walking around, you're playing damn tennis, okay? Them days are just about over, ain't that right, Bethany? Come on, read, King. This is Psalm 7 and 11. God judgeth the righteous. Most I said he judgeth us. 
Okay, we've been judged as a people. That's the reason why we're in the bottom of the total pole. We've been judged as a people. We've been whipped. We've been hanged. We've been lynched, miseducated. Okay, we've been poisoned. Okay, how much more of a behind whipping do you so-called black men want? Okay, but now you want to vote for a woman called Kamala Harris. Okay, but don't you know that they already know who's going to be in the office in the seat? Right. Okay, as a damn president. Your votes don't count. Okay, we always tell you that all the time. And you got black people that always look at us and say, you see, that's the reason why we don't got nothing now. Because of black men like you, you don't go down to the polls. You pick, look, let me say this. You've been in a hell of a damn condition. You've been in Project 25, okay, since 1619. Right. Okay, don't let the white man tell you. All of a sudden, if you don't vote for Kamala Harris, okay, Project 25 is coming up. And it's going to be something drastic. You Negroes been discriminated against, hung, okay, in the damn hood, trapped in your damn community. You black women been raped. The black men been lynched, castrated ever since the slavery, okay? And you worried about Project 25? That been going on in the projects since 1925, okay? What the hell you worried about that for? Kamala Harris can't do a damn thing for you, okay? Because she's up under the governing, what? Ostracist of the British. Her boss, okay, is the people that reside over in Buckingham Palace. That's who her boss is, and their bosses is who? Are people called the Rothschilds, okay? Satan's number one damn captain, okay? The Rothschilds that own every damn thing that reside in that damn White House right there. Okay, those are the biggest bullies and the biggest damn pedophiles. Look, you want to get rid of all the P. Diddies? You want to get rid of all diddling, 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 diddling? You start at the damn White House and you start at the damn Congress, you damn freaks. Okay, because that's all you damn do all damn day long. You, what? When you look up the word pedophile, okay, you should see a European like this. <laughs> <laughs> when you look up the word child molester, you should see a damn European like this. Right, right. Because all of you are the damn same. Okay? That's your nature. All of a sudden you wanna all of a sudden you wanna look at the damn diddler, 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 diddler. You wanna look at damn P Diddy like he's the worst. Oh my goodness. He's the worst person, Captain Ryan, on this planet. Oh my goodness, he's a monster. Who the hell you think he learned that from? He learned it from that damn freak from Atlantic Records called Clyde Davis. Right. And he's the biggest damn devil on this damn earth, man. He had to take the fall for the old diddler. Old diddler, old diddler, old diddler. Okay? That's who he had to take the damn downfall. That's funny, do you want? He had to take the downfall, okay? He had to take the hit for every damn body. That's what goes on in Hollywood, man, in black entertainment. You got to be sacrificed. Exactly. You have to been doing it for the last past 50 years. He's up here. They got a statue of him up there uh, in the bottom. They got a statue of him with two ladies. Okay, he hugged over two damn ladies smiling with a damn robe on. Okay, but they look at Pete Diddy. Oh my goodness, he's the worst person on uh, opposite uh, 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 He's the worst person on this planet. Look at the diddler. How could he do something like that? Drugging those girls. The white man been drugging you Negroes for the last past damn 400 damn years. Right. When the hell is he going to get locked the hell up for the crimes that he's been committing? Right. He went around and portrayed himself as the greatest man on this earth, and that's Christ. When is he going to come to justice for lying to your damn kids, okay, teaching them about the White House, okay, teaching them about George Washington and all the damn presidents when they raped and robbed and they had slaves? Okay, but this don't matter to the black man. This don't matter to the black community. As long as the damn white man can still spoon feed you a damn check, he can give you a damn job, okay, he can still lie to your kids. As long as there's happy days in America, as long as the black man can look at Stephen Bighead damn Smith, okay, on ESPN, okay, it don't matter to you. As long as you're happy, okay, and as long as you're getting some kind of money, give me all the please answer 77. As long as you're getting some kind of damn money, the black man forget about who he is. He's easily softened up. Okay, his enemy, that's the reason why he infiltrates the black home so damn much, and starting with the black man. Okay, because the black man have what? He sold this damn soul to Satan. Okay, for a dollar. Just like every other entertainer, okay, on this damn planet. You black men, you black women, I'm telling you, you better wake up in these last days because Christ is on his way back. You better get your Ourselves together, okay. You better wake up, okay, to the taxes that this man is doing, okay, in these last days. Okay, he got to be eradicated out of this entire earth for the planet, for this whole earth, okay, to do what? For a whole earth to be, okay, restructured, okay, up on the good. The most high is gonna recalibrate this whole earth up on the righteousness. Go ahead and read it, King.
This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 7. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. Most are surely oppression making you happy. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. Most I said, surely. Okay, oppression. Okay, makes you mad. Okay, that's the black man's problem today. They don't realize they're being oppressed. That's the reason why they're not mad. They're unconcerned. LeBron James still playing basketball, walking around the court like damn the black Charlie Chapman with his flat damn feet. I'm surprised he can run that damn fast, Officer uh, uh, <laughs> Officer Kazak. They're walking around looking like the damn black Charlie Chapman running around the court. And all of that is is what? They trying to get his sons in there for what? For more money. I mean, that's just common sense, right? They breeding slaves, okay? You ever notice in the black projects there's more basketball courts? Okay, I know where I grew up at in Brooklyn, the Fort Green projects over there in Farragut. I know that they had more basketball courts than anything. That's called breeding athletes, okay? That's that's called breed. Where's the tennis courts? There's the libraries, a uh, captain's shoe, okay, in the black community. Okay, you got football fields and you got basketball courts, and people still haven't picked that up yet. Okay, you go in the white neighborhood, you know what you got? You got tennis courts, you got baseball fields, you got libraries. Okay, but why would it come to the hood? You got basketball courts. That's all you got, and you got to fight for that. They'll put a basketball court up in the black community any damn day. Yeah, they, you know, they'll have somebody come to the black community, okay, and they'll say, sure, we'll put up a black, we'll put up a, you want to say something? Sure, go ahead. They, 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 I, I was going to say they did that to keep us from building and showing our entrepreneurial skills. That's why they put basketball courts in every uh, project builders, right? That's right. He's absolutely correct. He's absolutely correct because why? Because we've invented all things, man. Okay? That's undisputable. Okay? We've invented all things because in the book of Deuteronomy, call what you got. Okay? And I want you to read Deuteronomy 7 and 6. And I want y'all to listen to this one real good. Uh, give me the book of... Uh, Okay, what I had you holding. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Read that one more time. Okay, read that part. Read that one more time. Okay, read it one more time. Matter of fact, read Deuteronomy 7. Okay, read the book of Deuteronomy 7 and 6 for the people right here. Right now? Yeah. Uh -huh. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Right. Right. No. For thou art an holy people the unto the Lord thy God. The Most High said, We are holy people unto Himself. Okay, he doesn't give that description to nobody else in the Bible, okay, but the Hebrew Israelites. Okay, he said we're a holy people unto himself. Why do you think we think differently? Okay, the so-called white man on this earth, okay, he know that you're different from him. Okay, that's the reason why, give me the book of Rebecca, okay, three and two. Okay, that's the reason why he goes around the earth and he pretends to be you. Okay, because you're the greatest people on this earth. Don't let nobody tell you, uh, uh, Ephraim, don't let nobody tell you, okay, that you're just a nigga. You don't mean nothing. You never contributed nothing to society. That's one of the biggest. So don't you know Shakespeare was a black man? The proof of that. I got pictures of Shakespeare being a black man that's still over there in Germany. Don't you know Aristotle was a black man? Christ himself, okay, was a black man. This is the things they've hid from you. The book of Deuteronomy 7 and 6. One more time, King. Come on. Thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. So I said, we are his holy people unto himself, okay? In the book of Habakkuk, which his brother's about to read, why do you think in the 60s, okay, they was calling our music soul music? Because we put, we did salt of the earth, okay? What the salt do? Salt enhances, okay? Salt enhances. You Negroes, okay, along with the Puerto Ricans and the West Indies, okay, you enhance every place you go with greatness. They don't talk about Egypt no more, okay? Egypt was a, was a ruined society when Moses left with the Israelites. Don't you know when they go over to Egypt today, they're taking pictures of the ruins when the Israelites is in Egypt? What do people go to Egypt today for? If it's such a, a, a fledgling community, they know the weight of a molecule, okay? And Pharaoh got 10 toes, and they're the greatest civilization, okay, on this earth. What the hell is Egypt known for today? You see anybody going to Egypt today? They go into Egypt today for what? To look at when the Israelites is over there, okay? And the Hebrew Israelites are over here all in America all over again, just like the Bible says they are, okay? And the Bible in the records, okay, prove, okay, that we're the greatest people on this earth and that we're the Hebrews. Come on. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. The Most High said he chose you to be a special people on this earth, okay, unto himself. Okay, that's the reason why what? We make food called what? Soul food. 
Okay, nobody else does that because we got that soul, we got that liveliness. Pharaoh said that about us during the time of Egypt. Right. He said the Egyptian women aren't like the Israelite women. He said the Israelite women are lively because we got a different soul than them. Okay, they call it our music, soul music. Okay, why do you think? Why do you think they put those acronyms on us? They don't put the acronyms on the people that come from Africa. Okay, and doing that, they only put it on the blacks here in America, okay, along with our brothers and sisters, the Puerto Ricans, along with the Dominicans and everybody else, okay, because we are those soulful people, okay? Nobody plays basketball like us, sing like us, box like us. The hell with them m and fighting. That's cheating, man. The damn white man went around, he had to find a way to beat a damn black champion. So just like the damn idiot that he is, okay, and the damn low life that he is, he invented a damn sport called MMA fighting. That's cheating, man. Boxing is a skill, okay? One, seven, two, three. That's a skill, man. Not you biting somebody's damn nose till it bleed and you're biting the damn arm, man. That's savagery. That's bestiality. That's how the white man gets down. He doesn't have an upright soul, okay, in him, okay? He's different from you, okay? That's the reason why the most I said he loves you. You're a special people, okay? Is that it, King? Oh, no, no. Call it and read it. This is Rebecca, three and two. Oh, Lord. Have I heard thy speech and was afraid? O oh Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. Two and three. Two and three. Two and, oops, slot, slot, two and three. Two and three. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Mosai said, This is just for a moment. Okay? The hell that we going through. The Mosai said, This place is just for an appointed time, man. Okay? We well, don't you know, look, don't you know that if voting saved us, we'd have been the hell up out of here during the time of slavery? As much as you black people like the damn vote, it's a regurgitated and a recycled way. Okay, it's the same. It's the same agenda. It's the same present. They just package it different. That's all. McDonald's been selling that crappy damn hamburger, McMurder burger. Okay, for the last past fifty damn years, they just revise everything and make it look and market everything a, a differently. And you go right on up there. Oh, they got a ten pack of McNuggets. Oh my goodness. It's the same damn thing, but in a different damn package. That's all it is, man. And that's what America does to our people. They recycle the same damn package, okay, but they but they serve up the same damn gift to you every damn time. They just put it in a different way. That's all, man. The same thing with Nike. That's damn swoosh. Been there since 1982. They just, every year, they just take a different color. They put the swoosh in a different way, but it's the same damn swoosh, man. It's the same swoosh. That's what the white man does to our people all the damn time when it comes to voting, man. Okay? Nothing changes for us, man. Nothing at all. Okay? Our people are going to go down to the voting offices, go down to the... You, you can come on through, Marshall Brady. Our people are going to go to the... Mar they're going to go through the voting polls, okay? And they're going to go down to the voting offices. Look, 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 look. Kill the Harris. We for her. Okay, give me Zephaniah 3 and 8, King. Okay, matter of fact, you give me Zephaniah 3 and 8, you continue to read what you read. It's going to be my last one, Captain Ryan. Come on up. For the vision is yet for a point in time, but at the end it shall speak. There you go. The most I said, at the end, okay, at this time it shall speak. Okay, don't you know just 25, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, okay, you didn't have brothers out on the street waking our people up, telling them Christ is a black man according to the Bible, showing them history. And on every corner, okay, throughout this earth, that's how you know the time is speeding up. Get yourself together according to the Bible. Don't you know that the so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of? He speaks with a forked tongue. His words are smoother, okay, than butter. It tells you in the Bible that, the, that Christ is a black man. This is one of the biggest misconceptions on this earth, okay, but he had to do it because he's doing Satan's work. Call it a reader, King. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me. There you go. The Mosai said what? Wait on Reverend Price. Wait ye upon me. No, wait on Farrakhan. Wait ye upon me. No, FOI, the nation of Islam, Farrakhan, with that damn rough trust man partner is here. What the hell? Let me say this, right? He been had a damn part. Where did he get that part from in his head, man? He got him and Rob Tresman from New Edition been having that damn part in their head for about the last past 25 damn years, man. Okay? What is that, a wig on his damn head, man? I don't understand that, man. Okay? Is this the end? It should be the end of his damn hairline, man, because I don't understand why in the hell he keep that damn thick damn part in his damn head. And he's with, Farrakhan got to be at least about 101, Shapar. He got to be at least about 101. Come on, King. Saith Yahweh. Until the day that I rise up to the plate. The most I said, wait ye upon him. Not Kamala Harris. To the day that he rise up to the plate. Don't you know we would love to go around here and do certain things as 
in our mind, okay, to these Europeans. Don't you know that Christ himself wanted to come down here and destroy this damn place? He could have destroyed the Romans during the time, but he has to wait. We got patience. We got diligence, okay? A lot of people always tell us, well, why don't y'all go to the white community and why don't y'all start killing some of them? We doing what? From the beginning. Therefore, wait ye upon me. Most I said, we got to wait. We got to be patient. I don't think there's no other group on this planet, okay, that want to get their hands around the damn Europeans next. Okay. More than the Hebrew Israelites, okay, more than us, okay, because we despise this man. Like King David said, I hate my enemies with a perfect damn hatred, man. Okay, and there's nothing good about this white man that you can tell us, okay, that why well, we should love him, man. That oh. white woman go around a fake stinking herself, man. Okay, we can't stand, okay, the Europeans, and why not? Rightfully so, okay, because they're the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. Every right thing you tell me that a European did, I can name a hundred things behind that, every one you give me, man. Right. Okay, every right reason why we should like, well, we should love one another, okay, they never did nothing to you and the Europeans or somebody, that wasn't me, okay, that did it. Hell, it's your forefathers, we still in slavery, okay, come on. Seth Yahweh. Unto the day that I rise up to the prey. The Most High said, we're going to wait on the Most High, okay, to the day that he rise up to the prey. Okay, and that's the day that we're waiting for. Okay, spiritual power. The Most High, gonna, the, look, the children of Israel is going to make a second exodus out of Egypt. Okay, and the Europeans, they know it. Okay, they know exactly who you are. That's the reason why they have that hatred towards you. They hate your damn guts. It goes back to Esau and Jacob. The Most High said, we got to wait upon him. Call him to read it, King. Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Most I said, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Okay? There's nothing great about this place. This place stinks, man. Okay? You can't even get a clean glass of water. Okay? In America, no damn more, man. This place stinks. Everything is contaminated. Because you Europeans, when you look up, okay, the world contamination, you'll see a damn European like this. Look it up. Look up the world contamination. You'll see the European just like this. How you doing, buddy? Okay? Because why? Because they are the contamination of this planet, okay? And how do you get rid of contamination? You got to eradicate it out of the whole earth. The Most High is about to recalibrate, he's about to recalibrate, okay, this whole entire planet, okay, in righteousness. You so-called Europeans, you have ran this place in immorality, okay, in lawlessness. That's how you get down. That's the reason why everybody walk around looking simple as hell. Now walk around next month, talk about happy Halloween. Yeah, we have kick a tree like a bunch of damn fools, man. Right. Don't associate the Bible with Halloween right. or none of the holidays that the calendar has. Don't just put the, just put the Bible down, man. Because none of those so-called holidays got nothing to do with the Bible. Don't associate Satan's days with the Most High's days. Let's put the book down. Don't associate it with it. Damn hypocrites, come on. But at the end, it shall speak. So I said, but at the end, okay, it shall speak. Okay, and with that, look at the caveman work with a t-shirt. He got a backpack and every damn thing. With that, I'm going to say all praise to Yahweh. Okay, why Yahweh shy? Okay, Kwam Yashua! Kwam Yashua! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah!